Hello again, everybody. Welcome back. Another week of Kojiko News. I'm Greg Astorbrooks. First tonight, just two weeks after a not guilty verdict in Colton Bushy's second degree murder trial, another not guilty verdict has been rendered, this time concerning the death of 15 year old Tina Fontaine. A candlelight vigil was held on Sunday night in town in downtown North Bay for Fontaine, two weeks after a vigil was held for Colton Bushy. People across the country are calling for justice for Tina Fontaine as last Thursday a jury found the man accused of second degree murder, 56 year old Raymond Cormier, not guilty. In August of 2014, 15 year old Fontaine was pulled from Winnipeg's Red River as her body was wrapped in a duvet and weighed down with rocks. This not guilty verdict comes nearly two weeks after the Colton Bushy second degree murder trial, which rendered a not guilty verdict. That Sunday, a vigil was held for Colton Bushy. This Sunday, a vigil for Tina Fontaine. We understand the judicial system that they didn't have enough ed evidence to convict Raymond Cormier. We understand that, but it's still very disheartening that it's a systemic failure. She was involved with social services, she was involved with the police. There was so many preemptive, you know, uh, situations that she came in an agency, she came in contact, who failed her. You know, and this is not an isolated case, you know, Tina. There have been systemic failures across the nation. You know, last week, this week, yesterday, tomorrow, they will continue. So government policy needs to change. Nipissing University student Carrie Henry joined the vigil as a participant. She lent her voice to justice for Tina Fontaine. It was actually this semester I had taken a class called Anthropology, Peoples and the Law, and that was a lot of where this kind of anger came from and um, kind of wanting to dispel this kind of racism in the judicial system. So that's kind of where my interest came from. Yeah, and there's no, I think that's a, a big thing we need to press for is actually including this in our his, like in our history in educa uh, education in elementary schools, post-secondary. It's not uh, required in any type of education system I've been in. I was ignorant up until post-secondary, up until I was 20 years old. I didn't know about any of this. And that's the biggest thing Canadians can do is educate themselves.